Hello and welcome to this very festive December 2020 edition of Newsroom Wallhaven. We're right here in One North as usual and Chloe is with me for the first time in what feels like forever. Hi Chloe. Hello Matt, it has certainly been a long time and I'm pretty happy to be back and uh, let's get started. So what do we have for this month? Well, as you know, uh, if you've been following, Kalidia's opening date has been announced in a promotional video released on the uh, Wolfhaven's official YouTube channel. And we'll also go through the referendum results, which we kind of did miss when our stream broke, so sorry for that in advance. And let's get started! Well, th- once again, thanks for joining us. We finally have a date. In a promotional video posted on Wolfhaven's official YouTube channel, it was announced that Calidia would be opening on Christmas Day 2020 at 4pm UTC. The new creative city building world are uh, differing from Gardelia with regards to the lack of pre-existing infrastructure will be open to players who currently have Gardelia building right perms without the need for them to reapply for a separate application. Newsnet has also received word that a new build application form was in the works, combining questions for both Gardelia and Calidia signaling that both worlds' build permissions would stay linked. And while the world is still empty at the moment, say for some structures around Calidia's spawn area, uh, many alliances and individuals have already pre-claimed areas for construction. Wolfhaven was voted last month in the 2020 representation referendum and showed their desire to move away from the current system. With only 51 ballots cast, Uh, Turnout was down from the last referendum held in January, though Wolfhaveners did cast their ballots for questions regarding the implementation of the permanent residency rank and the January 2020 general election simultaneously. 75% of Wolfhaveners who did turn out voted for the implementation of the proposed directly elected ministerial positions, while 25% preferred keeping the status quo. Wolfhaveners, however, still preferred maintaining general MPs with 67% voting for that option. However, elections for these general MPs will still differ, as 69% of Wolfhaveners opted to elect general MPs under the single transferable vote method, while 31% preferred keeping the current party list proportional system. It remains to be seen how these changes will affect political parties next election, as the changes effectively mean that independents would be able to run for both the DEP and general MP positions after having their candidacy seconded by another player. The next general election is tentatively scheduled for January 2021. Newsnet would also like to apologize for technical difficulties during our referendum results coverage stream, which led to its cancellation. Well, this leads in directly to this month's hashtag Ask Newsnet segment with this question from Pro of Survival. He's asking us whether the newly created directly elected ministerial positions will be MPs or whether they will sit in the Senate chambers. The answer is that the new DEPs are MPs. While they are not senators, the newly created position's goal is to liaise with staff, and most notably with the heads of departments of each of the newly reshaped staff departments. Four ministerial positions will be up for grabs this January, ranging from the Minister for Internal Affairs, Minister for Gardellian Affairs, Minister for Community and Social Development, and Foreign Affairs, and finally, the Minister for Infrastructure and National Development. The Senate will continue to be composed of only staff members. He's also asked us what would happen if a minister resigned. The president earlier confirmed that the seat would go to the runners-up in the election if the seat became vacant. If the previous election was uncontested, a by-election would have to be held instead. And uh, just do remember to send in your questions for hashtag AskNewsNet, the January 2021 form for questions will soon be open, so stay tuned for that if you have any other questions to ask. So, still ahead, uh, we have the Christmas giveaways held and the server hardware upgrades behind the scenes. 
do stay with us here on this festive newsroom edition. Welcome back! On the 14th of December, server admin Karoo announced that a Christmas giveaway will be, would be organized this year. The giveaway would run for 8 days with up to 6 gifts up for grabs each day. The gifts include Steam games, Wolfhaven dollar cash prizes, Steam gift cards and Discord Nitro subscriptions. Also on the 14th of December, Helper and Head of Creative Affairs, Rules and Regulations Department, uh, Little Doggy 2, announced that she would be resigning. The Head of Department announced that the resignation would come into effect from the 19th of December, the month's admin day, and she stated that she would be tendering her resignation due to personal reasons. She stated that it was a pleasure to serve the Wolfhaven community and a privilege being a member of staff of the staff team and wish the new head of department the best of luck in their new role. Physical server hardware upgrades were made earlier this month. On the 10th of December, system admin Nixilis announced that the hardware end of the upgrades were complete and would result in a reduction of initial server lag by 20 to 35 percent. Chunk learning improvements enabled the server to more gracefully handle more players. Nicholas also announced on the 12th of December that public beta testing for 1.16.4 would start for a few days this month. He noted that most of the plugins that Wolfhaven depends heavily on were already more or less stable and compatible. He also added that the current version 1.15.2 was a quote really bad version of Minecraft for server instances and that players can expect to experience performance improvements following an upgrade. Finally, the system admin made a quick note with regards to 1.17, adding that Wolfhaven would not upgrade to it and would instead upgrade to 1.18 directly. That's it for this edition of the Newsroom Wolfhaven. But don't go anywhere and join us for Retro 2020, which premieres same time, same day, same place next week, so December 30th. Well, we'd love to see everyone there, and uh, until then, have a lovely Christmas! <laughs>